So, welcome to the second ever Deaf Portal Awards. <laughs> this is really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and um, because we wanted to increase the excitement even more this year, we added more categories. Um, there's one that we had to drop off because they didn't have enough nominations. Um, but next year, so if you want to have a good pass at a, at, at a win, make a really good international deaf portal. <laughs> right? We're looking for that. It's really important. We should have international deaf portals with internationalization, with localization, and all of that stuff. Currently, nobody's really doing that. Um, so that's a way you could win. We also had the accessibility awards, and more about that in a moment because we do have this. So are you ready? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> in the API business model category, we are looking for portals that have innovative mm -hmm. business models, such as API pricing model innovations and new ways to monetize APIs. In addition, we were looking for portals that have found an efficient way to present these. The two finalists of the category are Postman and TomTom Store Developers. The jury found, found that Postman provided a unique offering of APIs with well-explained pricing models that are accessible for a large audience, while TomTom created a very well-explained and easily understandable pay-as-you-grow model. The jury also mentioned that a nice-to-have feature was the pop-up feedback widget, which asks if the pricing model is clear to the user. Um, I don't know if that's, uh, that's easier. So um, the most common question that we get about TomTom is what do you do with APIs and actually what do you do because you have these navigation devices, right? Uh, but actually what we do is that we have quite a lot of APIs that um, bring location technology to developers, which is a new market, it's a very exciting customer base, and also we have a team which is quite small but it's growing fast, so I'm very excited and to bring this to them as well, because I'm here alone, but there's a team behind it, working really hard, learning really fast, so very excited to bring it to them. Thanks. I'm also a so I would be And then we also have to go to the I was part of the team that said the first development portal ever. Yeah. So I said, oh, that's 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 there's some old school value to that. Yeah. I, I'm making pictures. I'm really bad at pictures. There are right now. Email is between each one. I have a few. Oh, okay. I have the one with your legs on. Oh, next to another Yeah. I didn't realize it. <laughs> okay. okay. In the API reference documentation categories, we were looking for portals. We were looking for portals that improve on API reference documentation. This means how they integrate with try it out and sandbox functionality, the heart of the developer experience. A few extras that were appreciated are highlighted code, ability to comment, copy buttons, collapsible columns, a programming language selector, interactive links, and easy switching between testing and production. <laughs> Three finalists of the category are Mercedes-Benz developers, Shutterstock developers, and uh, Adyen API Explorer. This was the toughest category for the jury. The jury members pointed out that it's difficult to differentiate among the best because best is pretty broad and product specific, while bad is objectively bad. Good is very subjective and product specific. So, the Deaf Portal Awards jury acknowledged Mercedes Benz for their easy to read and easy to find reference documentation. 
the Turing value Shutterstock's references because they are easily reachable, well written and explanatory, with different language examples. And the Abbey and the Dogs were praised for being innovative and interactive. They are easy to use and easy to navigate and support multiple API versions. We want to uh, also bring a lot of the community, so actually next year we are planning to make the open source already next year. And if you have any ideas, if you want to have the same experience, just contact me. Um, yeah, and thank you very much for organizing this conference and this awards. Big shout out to the Collins. In the Developer Experience Innovation category, we were looking for portals that lead the way in boosting developer experience through developer experience innovations or well-executed existing technologies. Among the criteria, we can mention various tools for user engagement, such as pay for work, innovative testing, API Explorer, and visuals. The two finalists of the category were MBG Technology Hub and ADN API Explorer. The jury highlighted MBG's try it out and take the tour of functions and recognized ADN for its drop down list with actual use cases that show corresponding examples that are editable and runnable. And the winner of the Developer Experience Innovation category is. <laughs> This is uh, a very nice award. We are very thank thankful to the committee. We are a bunch of technical people behind the NPT Technology Hub. So yeah, we really wanted to hit the nail in the head in the developer experience department. And yeah, I believe that in the following months and years, we will focus more on the business and make it So thank you very much. All right, so in the design category, we were looking for portals that found the perfect harmony of usability, content, and aesthetics, and present every aspect of the APIs in a well-structured, understandable way. Developer portals that inspire trust through superior production quality. We had a lot of candidates here. <laughs> There are not less than four finalists in this category. The finalists are, are sorry, Abby and Amro, Deutsche Bank, Ivy, and Mercedes Benz. In our four cases, the jury highlighted the words clean, consistent, and usable. Abby and Amro was celebrated for its matching aesthetics and attention to detail. Deutsche Bank for its dark light mode function and its modern and unique design. The jury praised Ivy for or Amy <laughs> for the meaningful illustrations on the homepage and Mercedes Benz for keeping up UI design expectations throughout the whole portal. And the winner in the design category is Mercedes Benz. I'm not used to 
chance of posing with these guys. Kind of <laughs> um, yeah, so, so first of all, I really want to take a chance to say um, thank you for organizing this really great event and for all the great talks that I had and discussions. Um, in all these discussions, I, I said, I've seen so many people having the same challenges as we do, and um, I've really learned about new approaches to tackle them. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> to be quite honest, um, it showed me that we still uh, are at the very beginning of our developer portal journey, and there's still so many things that we have to look into to improve our portal. Um, so, this um, award. Um, Really makes me happy because now we can go back home with two findings. On one hand, yeah, we still have a long way to go, um, but on the other, um, that we walk in the right direction. So, um, yeah, thank you very much. In the develop in the Dev Portal policies and terms of use category, we were looking for portals that build trust through a genuine approach even in a seemingly unglamorous topic of policies in terms of use. These dry and long pages of text can be more and can be made more consumable by giving a human-friendly summary or by highlighting the most recent changes. As Ivy was the only nominee in this category, the jury decided to withdraw the prize. However, they applauded the company's policies in terms of use for being readable, approachable, transparent and well organized. The jury also really liked that they included business ethics in, in this section. In the best onboarding category, we were looking for portals that clearly show that their APIs are about, how they work, and how developers can start integrating where they can find and where they can find resources. Three finalists in the category are Next Home Developer, Think Works, and Amadeus for Developers. The jury liked Next Most Narrative Tutorial, Step by Step Guide, Error Documentation, and Clear Use Cases. Think Works was appreciated for its clear Getting Started Guide and its transparent onboarding process, while Amadeus was applauded for its straightforwardness and self service instructions. And the winner of the onboarding category is, for the second time in a row, Next More Developer. Woo. So, 
Yeah. <laughs> we will have discussion with the team, but next year we want to win all of them. <laughs> You're going to have to work very hard. <laughs> For the Community Spotlight and Outreach category, we were looking for portals with creative solutions or initiatives to show developers that their work is appreciated. These are the portals with great community sections where developers can share knowledge and build connections. Three finalists of the category are Postman, Visa Developer Center, and ThingWorks Think Works Developer Portal. Postman's strong points were its community showcase, jobs board, and events board, plus the many examples on the forum and, use, and case studies available on the blog. Visa's fiber showcase features lots of use cases. Furthermore, the jury mentions, mentioned the monthly developer spotlights and community newsletter. Regarding Think Works, the jury pointed out that the cat that the company praises authors and blog posts. All right, so the winner of the Community Spotlight and Outreach category is the Visa Development Center. Maybe I'll accept it instead of you. Uh, right. <laughs> so so we'll, we'll let Krista hold the award, but I'll read the note that the yeah. Visa sent us um, for their um, acceptance. So I'll start reading because it's a little bit long. Uh, we can't express how grateful we are, and we'd like to extend our sincere thanks to the judges, <laughs> Bob Watson and Gentle and Lucas Rosenstock, for taking the time to review our nomination. Thank you for recognizing the hard work we've put into creating a, a space where our developers can not only get support, but also grow as leaders in their field of expertise and find ways to help and engage with other developers through blogs, uh, question and answers, and events. As you can imagine, it's been a long road in building our community and a lot of effort, which is why we especially would like to thank our community, our awesome visa de developers. Our community members are among the most engaged throughout our portal, always willing to provide feedback and have stuck with us since we launched in 2016. Thank you. Do you want to say anything? <laughs> in the post integration and maintenance support category, we were looking for portals that do an exceptional job in creating trust towards um, their APIs by clearly and innovatively indicating their availability and reliability. Portals that make it easy to maintain an API integration through great release notes and other maintenance support. Finalists are Amadeus for developers and Nexmo developer. The jury highlighted Amadeus FAQ and change log and Nexmo's comprehensive status page, active community, and support knowledge base. The winner for the post integration and maintenance support category is. Two times in a row, next more developer! Wow. Oh, you're going to make me speak as well. Yeah, take turns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I'm definitely accrediting most of this to Mark because he actually works on the Docker portal, whereas I work more widely around what we do. Um, it's so important to us to inform developers about everything that we know. And what's funny about this is we have a whole new change log thing about to come out, so our release notes are going to get even better. Um, so, yeah, the, the, the stuff that we're doing to not just get people in the door, but also to kind of stay with them on their journey and help them to evolve and keep up with us as we evolve is so important to us. So it's just fantastic to be recognised in this way. Thank you. Yes, no problem. Okay. <laughs> you don't trust me? <laughs> <laughs> So in this category, we were looking for dev portals that take the initiative to make their APIs and documentation accessible to all possible users, regardless of disability type or severity or of impairment. There was only one finalist in this category, more nominees as well. 
The winner of the Accessible Dashboard category is Barclays API Exchange. The jury praised Barclays for having an accessible site without using interface or interaction quality. We will kindly accept the award. No. <laughs> On their behalf. Christoph, do you want to give a few words? <laughs> so look at all the great companies I work for. <laughs> We applaud dev portals that implement devices or content strategies to address topics like cultural diversity, differences in language capabilities, local legal requirements, and regional expectations. Um, Nominee DHL Group addresses users in different regions via its APIs. As there is only one nominee, there will be no prize in this category this year. <laughs> The next category is best. <laughs> the next category is the best overall developer portal. Please, Lucas, come to the stage to announce the winner of the jury prize. I'm sorry, on the next slide, don't show it yet. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good. Okay. Um, just um, before announcing the winner for the jury prize. Um, First of all, I would like to um, thank the organizers um, for uh, putting up this event and doing this developer portal awards for the second time. I think they deserve a round of applause. Um, and um, I would also like to give a shout out to um, Anne Gentle and Bob Watson, who uh, together with me, uh, the three of us, were the jury and had the um, task of selecting uh, the winners, so give a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, they can't be here, so um, I have the uh, honor of announcing the winner. And um, I would like to um, first um, say that um, being on, uh, on the jury, it's kind of, sometimes kind of a difficult task because you have to um, yeah, there's so many things you have to consider when reviewing a dev portal and you um, sometimes there's a really close call between who should win and, um, well, who only comes out second. So it's a tough choice. We uh, spent uh, quite a few hours reviewing um, those portals and we had um, some calls to discuss that. And um, yeah, you already heard some of the results in the individual categories. And um, now I'm going to talk about the um, overall category. And um, before announcing, I wanted to say uh, why this portal was chosen. So, um, well, um, what we found on this portal is it had basically all the elements that you would expect on a developer portal. There was good reference documentation, which is also interactive, so you could explore the API even without signing up. So they had a trial key included. There are a lot of examples and tutorials um, and release notes. And everything was presented like in a real clean uh, structure and a good design. And um, it's a clear value proposition of this API. And um, also one thing that we found, um, that's because they were already nominated last year, and we uh, found um, they made good improvements, and we also want to applaud that. And yeah, with that said, please show who's the winner. The winner is Tom Tom <laughs> Best overall developer portal is 
He's a developer center. Let's read some of Visa's thank you sentences. <laughs> <laughs> That didn't sound sarcastic at all. <laughs> the Visa developer team could not be more excited. It's such an honor for us to receive this prize. Especially seeing if there are so many impressive dev portal nominees to choose from. Thank you to everyone who took the time to vote. Especially our community who acted quickly when they found out we were nominated and our colleagues who passed a vote. Thank you to everyone who works every day on making the BC Developer Portal run and continuing to bring new ideas to enhance the experience for our users, including our technology team, designers, content team, UX, product, marketing, and client support. Thank you for your hard work. We are humbled to have this designation and we wear it proudly. So, it's wrong for a reason. <laughs> so they had a banner. <laughs> 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 that's all it's on, right? Yes, yeah. you can do that. So, that's all, folks. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for, for participating. Uh, like, an award is only valuable if people get excited about it. And it's your excitement and your efforts. And um, I, I, I think what I would like to do is I'd like to thank especially the people that haven't won today. Because it's a very vulnerable thing to submit yourself for a nomination and uh, to take part in one of these. And even if you didn't make it in, in the leader spots or uh, you know, in the selection, it doesn't mean that you know, your portal is crap or something like that. <laughs> I, think, I think it's, um, um, yeah, it's only because of being together in the community and doing this that um, this becomes valuable and we can get more visibility and we can learn together about what makes a great development portal and um, you know, get ever better experiences in different categories and then we can learn from like, you know, why, why did they win or what are the categories that nobody's really uh, uh, getting a spot for yet, like maybe next year if we spend a little bit more effort on accessibility then maybe we can have a, a winner in that category which would be really nice. Um, or, or range initialization is the same story. So, on that note, thank you everybody for being part of this. Uh, I think this is also the ending of the event. Uh, I think like yesterday, we can go back upstairs. Yes. Yeah. So if, if you want to have a drink, alcoholic or not, um, there's a <laughs> um, there's also really beautiful tea. Uh, we'll, we'll be in the bar upstairs. Uh, and thank you very much. And for the speakers again from yesterday, and for all of you for submitting sessions and taking part. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> I would like to add, I don't know if you realize how much effort went into from Lucas and Anne uh, and she's getting to my Bob 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 Watson, sorry. Um, into evaluating these portals and they gave written evaluations uh, that I think is, apart from the celebration, an incredible outcome of this. So, uh, thank you, and to Anna and to Bob, sorry, uh, <laughs> for, for taking on this work and the responsibility. Uh, I'm really happy that I didn't have to do anything like that and then people would know where I live. <laughs> so, a lot of uh, a lot of appreciation for their work, and please use what uh, what they gave as their evaluation because it was the best of intentions. There's, there's one more. Next year will be better prepared. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so because we have a present still for you, uh, it's the same uh, gingerbread cookie thing. <laughs> so. Thank you. The last one, and then you can go and have drinks and stuff. I'd like to thank the team again, uh, and especially Gatti, uh, because you've done so much work on this, and uh, I know that it was a lot of work. <laughs> so thank you very much.
presenters <laughs> for for once a year. And Zoli, I don't know where he's hiding. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, everybody from from the team for making possible to do this. Um, yeah. As I said, I didn't do anything here except for show up and take a watch. <laughs> Thank you very much.